Hello! Our topic for today is about describing the graph of a linear equation. Let's start! First, kailangan nating malaman yung trend ng graph ng isang linear equation. So, the value of the slope m tells the trend of the graph of a linear equation. Okay, so malaking factor na kailangan alam natin yung slope or yung value ng slope natin para ma-describe natin yung graph ng linear equation. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so dito sa first picture natin, if M is positive, then the graph is increasing from left to right. Okay, mula dito sa left, Increasing, ibig sabihin pataas siya, papuntang right side, okay? Then, dun sa pangalawang picture naman, if M is negative, then the graph is decreasing from left to right, okay? Mula dito sa left, pababa naman siya. Decreasing is pababa. Okay. So, another technique is, pag ang slope natin ay positive, Laging pa-check yan. Kung paano tayo nag-check ng mga papel. Okay, di ba? Ganyan. Check. Check. Ganyan. So, it doesn't matter kung sa taas siya banda or dito banda sa baba. Okay, basta yung format ng graph natin is pa-check kapag ang M or slope is positive. Kapag ang M or slope natin is negative, pababa naman siya. Okay, so kahit dito sa may bandang taas or dito sa baba, basta pababa siya, decreasing mula dito sa left side, papunta dun sa right side. Okay, another. If M is 0, then the graph is a horizontal line. Kapag yung slope naman natin, yung value niya ay 0, therefore yung graph natin is pahiga. Okay, so, pwedeng din banda sa may taas or dito sa may baba, basta nakapahiga siya or pahalang. Okay, next is, if M is undefined, then the graph is a vertical line. Okay, kapag yung slope naman natin is undefined, therefore, yung graph ng linear equation natin is nakatayo. Okay, so, pwedeng dyan, pwede din dito sa kabilang side, basta nakatayo siya. Okay, so para mas maintindihan yan, let's have an example. Example number one, describe the graph of the linear equation y is equal to 3x minus 2. Okay, madali na lang yan kasi nag-graph na natin siya. Pero, yung sinasabi ko kasi kanina, if ever na equation lang yung given, halimbawa, yan, pinapadescribe lang sa'yo yung graph niyan, so, yung una mong gagawin, kung hindi mo pa alam na magbe-base lang doon sa slope, igagrap mo muna siya. Saka mo siya i-describe. Pero since alam na natin na yung technique is kailangan lang natin tingnan yung slope. So, ang slope natin dito ay positive. Okay, pag positive, ibig sabihin pa-check. Positive, check. Okay, therefore, alam na natin na pa-check yung grap niya. Pag ganyang format, okay? Hindi mo na kailangan malaman kung saan banda siya. Basta alam mo is yung trend niya. Okay, so i-describe na natin siya. Okay, so sasabihin lang natin the line is increasing from left to right. Lagi namang from left to right, yung isa nga lang is decreasing. And eto, kapag positive yung slope, increasing naman siya. Ibig sabihin, pataas from left to right. Okay, so ayan, na-describe na natin yung graph ng linear equation na y is equal to 3x minus 2. Given na yung slope natin is positive, ibig sabihin, increasing from left to right. Okay, another example. Example number 2, describe the graph of the linear equation y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Okay, nandito na din yung graph niya. Pero if ever man na hindi natin nakikita yung graph, ibig sabihin dahil nga yung slope niya ay negative 2 or negative, ibig sabihin pababa siya. 
So, the line is decreasing from left to right. Okay. So, ang pinagkaiba lang palagi is yung isa increasing kapag positive, kapag negative naman decreasing. Then, palaging from left to right. Okay, so tapos na tayo doon. Then, next, example number 3. Describe the graph of the linear equation y is equal to 3. Okay, so another technique, kapag ang given na value is value ng y, horizontal line ang ating graph. Okay, so pwede nating sabihin dito na the graph is a horizontal line. Okay, basta yung value na given is yung value ng y. Laging horizontal line yan, okay? Kasi zero yung ating slope. Okay, so yung format natin is y is equal to mx plus b. Wala tayong value ng slope. Ang meron lang tayo is y-intercept, which is 3. So, horizontal or nakapahalang or pahiga yung ating graph. Okay, and last, example number 4. Describe the graph of the linear equation x is equal to negative 2. It doesn't matter kung negative or positive yan, basta ang binigay is value ng x. Therefore, ang ating graph is vertical line. Ibig sabihin, patayo. So, ilalagay lang natin sa description na the graph is a vertical line. Okay. So, tapos na tayo. Okay. Thank you for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na to. Stay safe. Bye!